Well, welcome to Stoke City, or welcome back to Stoke City, <laughs> I should say. This appears to have happened pretty quick. Yeah, very quick. Um, obviously, I had an idea there was a little bit of interest in the way football goes these days. Uh, in football clubs, things change very quickly. Um, and it was nice to to have you know the option to be able to come here, and uh, it's something I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to doing. Were there other options as well? Have you chosen Stoke over, over other options? Yeah, a couple of options, but like you said, everything happens so quick. I, I'm not a case of, um, you know, I had a chat. I really enjoyed um, speaking to the manager, what ideas, obviously, is going forward. And I know enough about the club that he didn't have to explain what was going on there. So, um, you know, the mind's pretty much straight made up. It wasn't a case of me waiting around looking for, for different types of offers. It, it suited me. Um, the ideas um, suit me perfectly. And it's, it's, like I said, a place that I'm looking forward to getting started. Difficult to leave Derby and in those circumstances as well? Yeah, massively. Um, it wasn't a case of it was difficult because I didn't want to come here. It's difficult because you know they, they gave me a chance to prolong my career, give me another chance in the championship and and make me enjoy playing football. Uh, we've had a had, had positive um, sort of six months in a really tough situation, but unfortunately it looks like the situation's not getting any easier and, and a little bit tougher and um, you know the decisions were, were taken and it, and it wasn't possible. But like I said before, as soon as I had a chat and, and, and things um, looked like they could progress here, um, there was no point me looking anywhere else. I was I was more than happy to to make the short journey and and sort things out. So what's what's Michael Michael O'Neill said to you then? Um, basically, obviously we've just played you recently, mm. which which obviously helps. I didn't realise I was uh, being Watson sort of on trial, so it was probably a good thing. But uh, no, he's just obviously said he's kept a clear, uh, a, a, an eye on what I'd been doing over the last uh, few months. Um, he sees the attributes not you know, only on the pitch but off the pitch that. Uh, he'd like to, to bring here. Um, you know, obviously, the experience is going to be uh, labelled my way, obviously, with with my age and things like that. But um, he wants me to come and, and play a part, and, and that's the main thing. I've, I don't want to come and, and feel like a, a you know a, a bit part player or a spare part. I want to come and you know integrate into the into the, the change room as quick as possible. Um, and it'd be fantastic to go on a good run and and try and uh, get ourselves obviously in the playoffs and have a good crack at. You know, trying to get back up there. What do you make of Stoke's squad and what do you make of the season so far? I mean, you've, you've turned them over twice, 2-1 at Pride Park and, and here a few weeks ago, but what, what do you make of what you're coming into? Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that now, should I, <laughs> looking in retrospect. But um, No, I think obviously had a, a great start to the season. Um, a little bit unlucky with a couple of injuries, especially, obviously, um, so you two in the middle of the defence. I think he was obviously playing, playing well. Um, we've managed to, 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 obviously, Derby managed to get, obviously, the, the, the two victories, but they were tough games. I think um, speaking to Michael, we just need a little bit more uh, sort of confidence, especially at home. It's always the case when there's something to, to go for and there's a little bit of pressure. Um, you know, little moments turn into big moments, especially at home. Uh, I know how, how passionate and, and how much the fans can get behind you, but sometimes it flips it the other way and they become a little bit edgy and um, it's difficult to pick up results. Um, speaking to, to Michael, obviously, he doesn't think they've play particularly bad but just like I say key little moments in the game haven't gone their way miss a chance offsides you know conceded at the wrong times um, but hopefully uh, we can we can sort of turn that corner get the home form up and running um, like it was obviously for the beginning of the season and and like climb up the, a couple of places in the league. You mentioned the experience tag 39 now what's what's the secret to your longevity? Um, I don't know everyone always asks me that uh, just always got told I had good good pros around me when I was young, um, very old, experienced pros that told me to keep playing in, until I couldn't, and you know I laughed at them at the time. Um, but looking back, you know they were 37, 38, 39, and and and, and they they progressed for as long as possible, and you know I still love the game, I still love playing. It's I've played with players and and people of, of similar age that got to an age and, and realised it was enough for them, uh, whether the bodies let them down or, or they just didn't enjoy it as much as they, as they wanted to, and. You know, over the course of the last probably two or three years, um, you know, I had a fantastic time back at Sheffield United. They had a great year in the Prem, a tough time the second year, but then you know, a good half to this season. Even though we've been rooted to the bottom of the table, but you know, the the the, the changing uh, the changing room, the, the players, the staff, the, the fans have been fantastic at Derby. So um, it's kept my sort of inner child going, and and that's what it's all about. And presumably, you'd be ready to 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 figure on Sunday at, at Hull, would you? Yeah, well, um, I've, I've played about 20 games this season, so I'm pretty much match fit. Uh, obviously, the only issue is I've not um, not trained, not met any of my teammates yet, but um, 
it's football. I've, I've played enough games. If I was if I was thrown in there, then obviously I'd uh, be thinking on my feet and hopefully get through it. Your football career has sort of come full circle because you had an association with the club back as a schoolboy, didn't you? Yeah, 12, 13, so played in the Keel Classic, obviously just down the road. Uh, won it, which was, which was quite nice. So, uh, yeah, uh, obviously know the academy director pretty well as well, Gaz. So, uh, yeah, strange enough, it's, it's how football works sometimes, you know. Um, I didn't think I'd ever come back here be playing, but um, looks like that's going to be the case. Finally, you've signed a six-month deal. Are you looking any further ahead than that? Um, I've always said... I want to keep going, so the, the, the six months will take care of itself. I know um, there'll be question marks um, labelled at me as they have been for the last five or six years, but the only way I can sort of rub them out is by performing on the pitch. So I want to go out there, play, and see where it takes me. Of course, I'd love to play for another year, another two years if, if possible, but as people have said, there will come a time when um, people don't want you around, and you know I'll, I'll be happy with that. I've had a pretty good innings.